My name is Jeffrey Wong. I am a solution architect here at F5 Networks. I'll be showing you how to migrate applications from a traditional network over to Cisco ACI with F5 for our 4 through 7 services. Some key attributes that will be addressed include seamless migration, minimized downtime, continued health monitoring, and support for features like dynamic endpoint attachment. Let's go over how this works. We bring up ACI and pre-stage a second pair of big IPs within ACI with service integration. The two networks are connected with an L2 link. The VIP and pools for the application is also set up. Application migration is achieved by taking the ACI VIP and adding it to the VIP pool in the traditional network. This stretches the application across the two infrastructures, allowing us to seamlessly move application servers from one network over to the other without needing to modify those servers in any way. Here's the logical representation of what happens when a client makes a request. Some of those requests will go over to the ACI VIP and then flow through the service graph to the server in ACI. Here are the pre-configuration steps and the workflow that we will be doing. Let's log into APIC and check all of our ACI configurations. AEPs and VLANs. VLANs and migration domain. Domain assignment. The interface relationship. Port group switch and interface relationships. EPG relationships. Now let's check that the service graph parameters have been properly configured. Our L2 bridge domain. The web contract relationship. We log into the big IPs and check that the VIPs are fully operational. We issue a few web requests to make sure that the servers are fully functional. We repeat the checks for the VIP that's in ACI. Here we see I have configured the responses from the ACI servers with a unique response. Here we will add the ACI VIP into the pool of servers in the traditional network. When we repeat our web requests, we see that both servers in ACI and the traditional network are responding. Now we can successfully move servers from the traditional network over to the ACI fabric without service interruption. We check the virtual server in the ACI fabric 
and see that the dynamic attachment feature has automatically added the server into the pool. This technique also works for migrating other devices like the Cisco ACE over to F5 plus ACI. Let's quickly prove that out. We show a service request going through ACE only. We turn on the F5 virtual server VIP in ACI and see requests being served from ACI2. Thanks for watching.